India's magnetic mission. Modi enters the magnet game. 7,000 crore rupees or 840 million dollars for magnetic revolution. Yes friends, the Prime Minister of the world's biggest country by population 1.4 billion people has now turned his attention to magnets. That is right. While India has hundreds of other priorities, Prime Minister Modi is now getting into the business of making magnets. For this, he is ready to pour in not one or two, but a massive 7,000 crore rupees or 840 million dollars. What's the goal? To produce about 6,000 tons of magnets every year in India. So the big question is, what is this India's magnet mission? Why is Modi suddenly so interested in manufacturing magnets? Who or what is he trying to attract with all this magnetic power? Stay tuned because this story is far more strategic than it actually looks. Mission Magnet – India's New Power Play Yes friends, India has now decided to manufacture something called REPMs or uh, Rare Earth Permanent Magnets. These aren't your regular fridge magnets. These are rare earth magnets, the same kind of magnets that have made China a global force. The same magnets that let China pull the entire world, even the United States, into its orbit like a giant magnet. Now India is too stepping into that field, planning to make its own centered rare earth permanent magnets, REPMs, domestically. For this, the government has announced an investment of 7,350 crore rupees or more than 800 million dollars worth of scheme to build a complete made in India magnet manufacturing ecosystem. This project will run for 7 years with a goal to produce about 6,000 tons of magnets every year. What are rare earth magnets? Yes, now let's understand this. What exactly are these rare earth magnets and why are they so special? Friends, as the name suggests, sintered rare earth permanent magnets are made using minerals that are extremely rare to find on earth. Usually, three different rare earth elements are combined to create them. They are way more powerful than your normal magnets and can retain their magnetic strength even under very high temperatures. The magnetic field is extremely strong. To give you an example, to lift 1 kg of weight, a normal magnet would need to be about 5 cm long and 5 cm wide. But a rare earth magnet, just 1 by 1 cm, can do the same job. So, one rare earth magnet can do what a magnet five times bigger normally would. Now, of course, magnets aren't just used for lifting weights. You might remember from school, magnetism and electric current are deeply connected. That is why magnets are used in motors to convert electric energy into rotational motion. In generators, it is the reverse, converting rotation into electricity. In speakers and headphones, magnets convert electric signals into sound waves. In hard disks and memory cards, data is stored as tiny magnetic patterns. From defense to aerospace, from mobile phones to electric vehicles, rare earth magnets are essential everywhere. But here's the problem. China dominates this entire market. It controls more than 90% of the global rare earth magnet supply. That means the whole world, including India, US, everybody depends heavily on China. And that is exactly the dependency India now wants to break away from. India's plan, build five magnet plants. Friends, this isn't a government-run production plan. Here, the plan is to help private manufacturers to set up and run magnet production plants. Initially, five integrated manufacturing units will get government support. Each of these plants must have the capacity to produce 1,200 tons of magnets per year. To qualify, companies must be capable of producing at least 600 tons annually and then scaling up to 1,200 tons and increasing by 100 tons every year. These qualified companies can then submit their bids. Now, producing rare earth magnets involves multiple steps mining, purification or benefication, and then processing, extraction, refining oxides, converting them into metals and alloys, and finally manufacturing the magnets. 
in this project india will focus mainly on the last three stages making metals from oxides converting them into alloys and turning those alloys into magnets there are mainly two types of rare earth magnets neodymium and samarium india will focus on manufacturing neodymium magnets first two layers of government support yes the government will provide support in two main ways one sales linked incentive just like salesman gets a bonus for higher sales companies that sell more magnets will get a reward the plan is to offer up to 2150 rupees per kg or 25 dollars per kg of neodymium magnet as incentive second thing is capital subsidy companies that build magnet manufacturing units in india will also get 15% capital subsidy on their investment made after april 1st 2025 this helps reduce the initial setup costs like land buildings and machinery which are usually very expensive and since rare earth processing equipments this machinery are still imported and costly this subsidy will help balance the expenses for these companies Currently India doesn't mine rare earths at large scale unlike Myanmar which has massive deposits where China is also massively extracting these rare earth metals and taking into their country for processing in fact reports say India is also now exploring ways to get similar access in Myanmar that is why India is in talks with armed groups controlling parts of Kachin province in Myanmar and right now India's department of atomic energy already produces about 500 tons of ndpr oxide which can yield around 1500 tons of magnets but for full scale production companies will still need to import additional ndpr oxide making it expensive and that is where this subsidy becomes critical friends under this scheme companies will get 2 years to build facilities and start production and then ramp up gradually between year 3 and 7 to reach the full 6000 ton annual target how selection happens the bidding process happens in two stages one technical and one financial first the technical bids will be evaluated then those who qualify move to the financial round the ministry of heavy industries mhi will handle the entire tender process through a global tender inquiry gte the five applicants quoting the lowest in into requirements will be selected each selected company will receive incentives proportionate to its production capacity and the implementation will be directly monitored by the ministry of heavy industries a special committee led by the mhi secretary will oversee the progress challenges and timelines as well importantly this mission will work independently not linked to any other government scheme why india needs its own magnets friends currently india requires around 4010 tons of rare earth magnets every year out of this 1200 tons go to evs and electric motors 380 tons for smartphones and computers 110 tons for solar powered pumps and 1050 tons for wind turbines almost all of this currently comes from china and this demand is rising rapidly by 2030 india's requirement is expected to double to around 8220 tons per year that is why india launching this magnet mission is a big strategic move not just about manufacturing for the sake of manufacturing in india here the idea is reducing china dependence and building core industrial sovereignty for the future of the country so yes prime minister modi isn't just chasing magnets he is chasing strategic control over one of the world's most powerful invisible forces magnetism which drives everything from our phones to fighter jets if india can pull this off we won't just be producing magnets but also we will be attracting a whole new era of technological independence friends what do you think on this please let us know your thoughts on the comment section below and if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet we request you to please subscribe and and hit that bell icon as well your support is our strength thank you so much let's meet again keep looking for better namaste